Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to deploy this controller to the hardware. Here we have considered the hardware is an Arduino Uno. In the last tutorial we have learned how to generate the code, C code or C++ code from this Simulink model. And the generated code was, this was the code, controller1 underscore ERT underscore RTW. So this is the generated code of this model. Already I have explained in the last tutorial. So this is the controller. The code of this controller is generated and all the code will be in this folder, in this project file, controller underscore ERT. So now I want to deploy this code to the hardware. Here hardware is a Arduino. So copy this one, copy this and open, open Arduino ID, Arduino ID. It's opening Arduino ID and my documents. There is the Arduino. Now, here, paste our that folder. So, this is our already I have tested controller one underscore ERT RTW. So, this is all codes generated, generated code from the single model. This code is for the controller. So, so now there is a library file in Arduino. Arduino IDE there is a libraries. We have to create the libraries. We have to create the libraries for different data file that is available in our project file. Like controller one underscore private controller. Controller dot header file dot, dot h controller one type header file and RT double type header file. So all this header file will be copied and paste to the individual folder. So here create a folder different create a folder and the name of the folder will be the header file name controller1 underscore types it contains controller1 types header file similarly controller1 underscore private contains controller1 underscore private header file controller1.h this controller1.h contains in this folder so in this way all the header file will, will be kept here, making a folder and header file will be inside it. So this inclusion of header file will be here in the libraries of Arduino. It is, it is in the libraries of Arduino. So after completion of this process, open the Arduino ID. So this is the Arduino ID. What we have to do? There is a controller in our folder, generated code. In the generated code, there is a C file. So, and that C file will be copied this section. So, this is the controller 1.c. Controller 1.c is available in the project file. Controller one underscore ERT at EW. It contains all the codes. So here controller.c. This is controller.c. You can see the extension with the C file and copy this. Copy control C and it will be. So this is a sketch of Arduino and copy that controller dot c controller one dot c file here in the last section after loop while loop after while loop we have to paste 
we have to paste it here. So now it is paste. So this is this is controller one dot c. It is it is the so c c file generated from the simulink directly copied and it is pasted in this Arduino Arduino IDE. In the last that is after the word word section after the word section. Now I am declaring. So this is header file. All the header file records header file. Controller one dot h, controller one uh, one underscore private dot h, Arduino dot h, stdio dot h, rt rtw type. A. All header file is declared here. And now, now you can see pin pin number is defined. A zero is sensor pin. And pin number nine is the output of the controller is connected. Pin number nine initialize sensor value equal to zero and out data equal to zero. Out value equal to zero. Initialize now it is a void section setup section. In the setup section, it is a board rate 9600 serial dot begin and pin mode. Sensor pin is the input mode and pin mode out pin output will be the output. And in the controller, there is a two, there is a two input, desired and actual. So here I have assumed actual signal is zero. That's why I have considered only one input. You can consider another another input. In that case, you have to define another variable, some sensor pin two. In that way, you have to define. So now, for understanding purpose, I have written here. So this is the input, and this is the output. Now call the controller one initialize. This function you have to call in the setup function. You have to call one one time. So now in the void loop, in the void loop, we have to assign the input. Sensor is connected. Sensor is connected. So sensor is here. Sensor value. Is equal to analog read sensor pin. Sensor pin is connect, connected is A zero. In at A zero, analog pin A zero of Arduino, a sensor is connected, and that value will be read by this function analog read, and it will be stored in this variable. And this variable gives the value between zero to one zero two three. So that value will be processed to get the desired voltage. So this value five into sensor value divided by one zero two three. It gives the actual voltage received by uh, sensor. So in this type, in this way, it is it is processed. So this is the sensor value. So now this sensor value is fed fed is fed to the input of desired. It is an input value of the controller. So that is sensor. It should be sensor. It should be sensor value. Be sensor value. So now here it is controller u dot actual. So actual value input of the controller was two. One was desired. Another was actual value. I have assumed here it is zero. But if I if I consider another sensor and you have to provide that sensor value here. In that case, you have to define. And initialize the sensor value in the same way. In the same way, we have to define. So here, the actual value I have assumed equal to zero. So now call the controller function. Controller one underscore step. This function we have to call, and it will produce the output output value. And that output value is defined in this way: controller one underscore y dot control. So it gives the output of the control, and it is stored in this variable out well. It is stored here, and now it is write analog analog write or digital write. Uh, you can uh, in this way analog write or digital write out pin comma out value. So in the pin number nine, controller output will be at the pin number nine. So now for observing the value of the controller output, serial dot pin delay out value dot decimal. So this value will be observed. In serial monitor, it is in the tool here. It is tool serial monitor or serial plotter. 
serial monitor gives the values and serial monitor gives the plotting you can see after the execution after done after deploy to the arduino so this is a whole program and integration of c code that is generated from the simulink model integration is done so now compile this whether it is okay just stand testing It is compiling this program. This taking time. So compilation is done. Compilation is done. So there is no error is found. So successfully we have integrated the C port controller one dot C that is generated for the controller. It is integrated with the Arduino Arduino space file. It is integrated successfully and it is compiled. So now. i have connected the arduino with the com port port 3 in my system in my laptop so now i am deploying this deploy or upload the code so it is uploading to the arduino and that arduino will will be acting as a controller whose input will be to so uploading is going on there is two input desired signal desired signal at the pin number a0 and output will be pin number 9 an actual value is assumed as a 0 but in that case you have to define separate sensor in the same way in that case there will be two input so upload process upload it successfully code is uploaded successfully to the arduino other arduino uno board so controller will be in the arduino other and you can see the output see you in the you can see the value What did we have to choose here? So nine twenty eight. So these are the value of controller output. If I want to see the output, then go to tools, serial monitor, plotter. So this plotter, and you can see the output is plotted. So it is the of controller output. Controller output. In case of simulink model, the controller output was. It is the controller output. You can see in the same way it is increasing, just like a ram. It is increasing function. Exactly same output is here. Is also increasing. Increasing function. Controller output is there. So thank you everyone thank you all for watching my video and subscribe my channel thank you all